So um, the study was conducted by a group in, in Riken in Japan. Um, and what they were looking to do is model um, schizophrenia-like symptoms in mice um, and then assess how diet of pregnant mice affects the expression of schizophrenia symptoms within their offspring. Um, what they found is that where um, pregnant mice have a diet that lacks um, a nutritional compound called DHA, um, the offspring display schizophrenia-like symptoms or an increased element of schizophrenia-like symptoms. So DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid. It's the main constituent of fish oil. Um, it's an essential fatty acid, which means that we can't produce that ourselves. We rely on obtaining it from the diet. Epigenetics is actually, I, I think epigenetics is one of the, one of the most significant discoveries um, of this generation, certainly in terms of how we understand how our genes influence um, our behaviour. So um, you'll be aware that there has been a long, long-standing um, debate about nature versus nurture. Um, what epigenetics does is it eliminates that versus, and it says actually there is nature, there are the genes that we are born with, there's nurture, the environment that we um, experience, and epigenetics bridges that gap. Where now uh, you can't go a week or two without other epigenetic factors being highlighted. DHA is just one of them, but there's a whole range of nutritional factors and environmental factors that can influence epigenetic expression of genes. So I think it's, um, it's important that we, we realise how critical DHA is, not just to you know, the very old story of that it's, it's important for your heart, um, that it's also essential for your brain and until we accept that DHA plays this very critical role in neurological function then, um, then we're going to be much poorer as a consequence of that.